Okay, hi everybody. Welcome to another English class here on Verbling.com. My name is Lisa, and um, in this hour, we're going to be having a speaking class, a conversation class. So if you have a reservation for this hour, you can use that reservation now. If you don't have a reservation, just wait two minutes and then you'll see the join class button up at the top. And then you can join. Hi, Vitaly. Hello, Lisa. How are you? I'm doing well, thank you. How was your weekend? It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Good. <laughs> nice. Okay, and uh, Hamid, where are you? Hello. Turkey or I, Poland? Yes, uh, greetings uh, from Turkey. I am home. Okay, good. <laughs> How was your trip? It was uh, tiding, but it is okay. Oh, okay, good. I'm still tidied, and uh, you changed your uh, place? Yeah, I'm sitting at the uh, different place <laughs> in <Yes>. my house. <laughs> yeah, you can see out the window, <laughs> my yes. neighbor's house. Uh huh. What's weather? Uh, the weather, okay. it, was, it was raining earlier, but I think the rain stopped and now it's just kind of cloudy. Yeah. But it's not very cold out. Not too cold. Where are you live? I live in Washington. So I live in Washington, Washington State. No. Not, uh, not Washington, D.C., which. If I were in Washington, D.C. right now, I'd you'd be seeing snow. Because in Washington, D.C., they've been having a lot of snow. Yeah. Uh, it's yeah. Not, not Canada? Not Canada. I live just, I just live south of Canada. Uh, yeah. To get to Canada it would take about maybe three hours from my house. Yeah. Yeah. Vancouver area, like Vancouver, Canada. Yeah. You know, Vitaly, I'm hearing a lot of uh, noise from your microphone. I don't know what, what that is. Do you guys hear the noise, Hamid? Yes, I can hear it. And, uh, yes, it is of course. It's it's annoying. Pretty loud. <laughs> yeah, Vitaly, I don't know, maybe wow. re refresh your page, see if that works, to change it, because uh, it's the, I don't know what it is. Yeah. Maybe it is outside uh, noise, I don't know. Maybe like washing something, but I don't know. Yeah. So Vitaly, try uh, reloading your page to fix the noise problem. Okay, okay. I, yeah. I, I, I see I uh, have a problem. Okay. Yeah. Oh, you see. Okay. okay. All right. Good. Thanks. Um, Maria, how are you? Hello. Fine, thanks. And you? I'm doing well. Thank you. Okay. Um, Maria, how was your weekend? Oh, very, very good. Uh, the problem is that the weekends passed uh, so fast. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> yes. Exactly. Yes, it passed by really fast. <laughs> uh, we have to work. Uh, days goes very slow, but yeah. in weekends, uh, I don't know what happens, but it's completely different. <laughs> yes, I know. It's like all of a sudden it's like nighttime. <laughs> you don't know yeah. what happened. What? Where did we say? Uh, where did the day go? That's what we say. Yeah. Um, Maria, where are you calling from? I'm from Madrid, Spain. Oh, okay, great. We have quite a few students now from Madrid. That's wonderful. Yes. <laughs> we, the Spanish people. Uh, we are trying to improve our English. Yes. Great. <laughs> awesome. Okay, let me say hi to some other people. Lejek, hi there. How are you? Hello, teacher. Hello, everybody. How are you, teacher, today? <laughs> I'm good. How are you? Also good. Much good? better. Yeah? yeah? How are the bees? Are they quiet? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Probably are quiet. Probably ex Still existing, yeah. Existing, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Not doing much, though. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just yeah. leisure time. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Okay. Um, hi, Adrian. Hey Lisa. How are you? I'm fine. You? <laughs> good. Good. I'm doing well. Thanks. Except for if people know yesterday was the Super Bowl and because I live in Washington, my team, even though I don't really watch football very much, uh, but my team is uh, Seahawks and they lost the Super Bowl on a very, very, very bad play in the very, very end of the game. At the end of the game, they should have won because they were 
just one yard from making a touchdown. One yard is about that much <laughs> from making a touchdown, and the other team got the ball, and it was terrible. But anyways, yeah. it's over. <laughs> so uh, hi there, Ould. How are you? Let's see. Ould Ahmed. Ahmed, how are you? I don't hear you. Just I'm checking to make sure everybody's microphones are working. So I don't know if you're there. All right. Let's say hi to Estibaliz. How are you doing, Estibaliz? Hi, Lisa. <laughs> <laughs> nice to see you. Welcome. Okay, Ahmed, is it working now? Sorry? I'm trying to see if Ahmed's uh, microphone is working yet, but it's not. Okay. Okay, guys, well, let's uh, go to the questions that I have. Whoops, where are they? Um, i got to open them up in another place here. We're going to be uh, having a speaking class. So in the speaking class, that's an opportunity for you guys to speak more, hopefully more than I do. <laughs> That's the idea. And um, we're going to be talking about what we call fads and trends. So um, these are related, you know, things that happen like in clothing, fashion, music, products that people buy, shows that people watch, that type of thing. So we're going to be talking about that. And here on the page, um, Hamit provided the link in the Verbling chat. Um, this is a website that has just lots and lots of questions about lots of different topics, and so it's a good place to go to get us started with um, a conversation. And so today we're going to talk about this. So um, let's see. Who can tell me what a fad is? Like, that's the first question right there. What is a fad? Estibaliz, do you understand the word fad? Have you heard about that word before? Not exactly, like a trend, more or less. Yeah, so how would you describe that? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> In English. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, I, I don't know. Uh, it's... Um, I have something that is trendy in um, in a exactly moment, for example. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Hamid says uh, short term, temporarily. Yeah. Vitaly, did you want to say something? Uh, maybe uh, uh, something crazy. <laughs> something what? Something crazy? Something crazy. <laughs> yeah. <Something> crazy. <laughs> Vitaly, it's really hard to hear you, and I don't know what what the problem is. But uh, it's really loud for us, <laughs> and, and I can't hear you. So I'm wondering what you might be able to do to try to fix that. Do you have headphones on? Yeah, yeah. Maybe maybe take the headphones out. Maybe that doesn't make a difference. I don't know. Yeah, everybody's going to keep muting you <laughs> because it's really loud. Yeah, <laughs> you know, yeah, yeah. yeah. Something, something yeah, it was going away there for a minute. Yeah, uh, Hamid says check your plugins, like where your plugs are going in. And I don't know, sometimes if people are uh, close to like a, a heater or something like that, if you're sitting nearby a heater or some other kind of electronic thing, <laughs> sometimes that uh, affects it as well. So you might have to move. Locations. I don't know. Okay. Yeah. Try something. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. And uh, sorry about that, Vitaly. Uh, Ahmed, did yours work now? I saw your green dots go up. Try unmuting now. Yeah. Hello. Hi. Okay. Good. Yeah, it works. It is there a problem because I saw my my name at uh, two time here. I know. Yeah, you have. We have two of you right now, but I think one of them will drop out pretty soon. Ah, uh, okay, okay. Sometimes uh, it, it drops out. Yeah, I can. Yeah, but uh, but I uh, that maybe. Uh, okay. Yeah. Ah, That's very okay. good. Interesting. Okay. Yeah, it's weird. <laughs> <laughs> Vitaly, it's it's better, but it's there's still some kind of noise. It's not as bad. For my for me. Mhm. Mm 
No, not you, Ahmed uh, Vitali. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay, guys. Well, let's go ahead and keep going here. So, um, Hamid, how would you explain a fad? A Is fad? Like a term? Yeah, for Hamid, Ahmed. Yeah, that, that's the first time I heard that kind of uh, word. Oh, but, good. Uh, when I saw with uh, trend, I, I have an idea about trend because uh, it looks like uh, is a way or like that. Yeah. It's basically the same thing as a trend, a fad. Um, I'm going to put the definition up in the verbling chat there. So it's... It, a more uh, concise definition is an intense and widely shared enthusiasm for something. So people get really excited about something, and it, a lot of people, so that means widely shared, and very intense, like everybody has to have it. Uh, and that's a fad. But the, the key thing is that it's short-lived. So it doesn't usually last that long. And so we, we have lots of things like uh, a fad diet, like everybody should eat, uh, you know, low carb or only meat or, ah, you, know, only yeah, yeah. you know, something like this. And it's, uh, yeah. yeah. Sometimes we, we saw uh, some product uh, ha, ha, have, uh, have that kind of uh, word, a fad. Uh, uh -huh. uh, when, when we, that fad or fat? Fad. With a D. Ah. Yeah. Ah, no, no. I, 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 I mean, I mean, I was mean uh, fat only. With oh. <laughs> yeah, we call it a fad. So let's ah. talk about that. Um, let's see. Let's talk about what are have been some fads where you guys are. Does anybody know a fad right now? Like a fad that is happening like either in your country or maybe in the world? Uh, Hamid, I'm going to go to you first. Okay, for me, uh, in my country, for some uh, things, yes, but uh, if we think uh, globally, I think uh, it is available in everywhere. Like yeah. my writing, uh, I think technologic, uh, technological devices are quite popular uh, for that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, maybe uh, some uh, dress, uh, like uh, fashion products for some countries, Mm -hmm. uh, for example, uh, when I was uh, returning back, uh, there were two guys uh, next to me in the plane. Yeah. And uh, when I asked to them, they are uh, coming from uh, Milano, Italy. Mm. So I said to them, you are living in fashion center. So Milano, <laughs> like Milano cities, like New York, uh -huh. there are some uh, fashion uh, products, so especially uh, dress, clothes. So mm -hmm. these are uh, good examples, uh, if I know truly. Yeah. Yeah. So that's an example. Sometimes a fad is, um, let's just go with one, fashion, for example, clothing. So sometimes certain types of um, pants or jackets or T-shirts or something like that become very popular. Or the wearing your clothes a certain way, like this, where you, um, this is called rolling up your pants. So you have your pants, but then you roll up the bottoms. That could be a fad. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if this was a fad <laughs> with everybody, but maybe with uh, rock singers or musicians or something. Uh, and Lisa, uh, for pants. example, <laughs> yeah. if, we, if we watch a uh, patient TV on the uh, TV, yeah. we can uh, understand uh, better because they can show, for example, for this year, that is a, uh, for example, swimsuit for uh, 2015 and 16 uh, summer season. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Great. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So for a short amount of time. So um, for here, in one of the fads that has happened would be uh, baggy pants. Do you guys know what I mean when I say baggy pants? Uh, okay, here's an example. It's also a very... <laughs> <laughs> Especially with like uh, gangster style kids, young boys, <laughs> things like this. Um, I don't know if it happens other places or not. So, uh, Maria, have you ever seen, especially guys, young teenage boys maybe, or young adults, do they ever have baggy pants like this? Or they would yes. call that saggy? <laughs> yes, I have seen it. Um, I don't know uh, how they can. <laughs> Uh, 
<laughs> they ha how they can wear it because I think it's very um, it's very possible that they lose the <laughs> their trousers. <laughs> I think it has to be very difficult to to walk with it. But yes, yeah. here in Spain we can see it too. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, that's the interesting thing nowadays because of the global media, especially movies, especially music. Uh, fads can be worldwide too. So. You know, you might think, like, I could think that maybe just uh, young boys in America yeah. do this, but, you know, people around the world, they like um, maybe rap music, you know, guys who listen to rap music, they uh, do this. So it was it was a lot, um, it was pretty popular um, in the 90s, but I think it's still happening. So it's somewhat of a fad, but it has kind of lasted a little bit longer than, than some fads. But I don't see it too much nowadays. Uh, Lejek, do people in Poland wear these kind of baggy pants? <laughs> <laughs> funny, funny style, but uh, <laughs> no, I didn't uh, saw this uh, exhibition. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Exactly. An exhibition. I think that that is possible uh, in country where the weather. Uh, Gave the, the possibility, yeah? but in Poland yeah. it's not possible. It's the same like in Russia, yeah? this, uh, our country are not similar, uh, not similar about weather, yeah. But, mm. but mm -hmm. yeah, but, you know, it's, it's some some uh, some uh, is uh, similar. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So this would be considered a fashion fad. So it's related to a type of clothing that is. We could also say in style, you know, something that is in style, um, but it, it's not forever. You know, you're not going to see people dressing like this forever. Um, it's just a fad. It's a trend. It's, you know, it's happening now, but maybe in the next five years something else will be trendy or, you know, a fad. Um, Esteve Elise, what, did you ever dress in a certain way that was kind of considered a fad? <laughs> more, more or less, when I was a teenager, <laughs> teenager. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, for example, I wear rare pants, they are returning, but... <laughs> oh, wait a minute, inside out pants? No, flare. Flare pants, oh, oh yeah, 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 like bell bottoms? Let me see, if I, uh... like these kind? Yes, yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. So when you were younger, you would wear these kind. Yes, yes. <laughs> when mm -hmm. I was t a teenager. A teenager. Okay. <laughs> yes. Looks good. Looks good. Okay, Legic likes it. <laughs> yeah, I like it. <laughs> for women. For women, you like it. Okay. Yeah, what about yeah. for men? I Legic. think I it is available for the men as well. If you and Google uh, Lisa, we can see. I think so. Yeah. Here we go. Here's the men variety. <laughs> no, 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 no. So funny. <laughs> Not the same style. <laughs> no, immense looks different. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, this is um, interesting because um, this was a trend in the 60s, you know, and so uh, people like my mom, they would wear these, and we call them bell bottoms or flare. The flare is the bottom part, and it's like a bell because when you ring, I mean, when you walk, it's like ding dong, ding dong, like a bell. Uh, but then it came back into style. So some things go away, and then we say they come back. So this would be more like uh, the 60s, 70s kind of look. That was a fad then. That was the trend. And then this is more the style you probably were into, like jeans with the bell bottoms. Yeah. And uh, I don't know, did anybody else wear that? Maria, were you into the bell bottoms? Yes, here in Spain, I think uh, everyone <laughs> oh, yeah? um, in the uh, 19th, uh, we wear <laughs> this kind of trousers, yes. <laughs> and then we... And then we pass to the opposite, uh, to uh, um, skinny trousers. Easy. So we pass the, for one thing to the opposite, completely <laughs> different. Yes. <laughs> so you went from the bell bottoms to 
The skinny jeans. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> And now in the shops you can see again uh, a bell. Uh, I don't know uh, what's uh, how uh, how can we write belly uh, jean uh, bell? Okay, yes. Bell in the bottoms. in the shops we can see again bell bottoms. Oh my gosh, they're going yes. back. Okay. Yes, I don't know, but uh, we can see uh, some of them. <laughs> yes. Aha. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Yeah, sometimes they we say they recycle. <laughs> they recycle yeah. the styles because, you know, there's not so much different you can do. But uh, Leshek, did you ever wear skinny jeans? Leshek, are you there? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, these are the skinny jeans. These are for guys. They look like that where they're kind yeah, of tight. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I wear no, no, my two, two years ago. Yeah. Uh huh. Uh huh. I'm practicing. Yeah, but it depends who, who, how you look like uh, your legs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes it's dangerous. Yeah. This <laughs> <laughs> you can, you can show your um, bad, bad side, yeah, bad, bad things <laughs> in your body. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. Well, that's the funny thing with um, fads because uh, a fad sometimes uh, people just do it even if it doesn't look good on them. You know, so some people they just want to wear skinny jeans because that's the fad, but then they don't actually look as good as other people. You know, so it depends. <laughs> I bought uh, skinny jeans for my wife and. Even she she wear the jeans. I say to her, uh, "My goodness, you look amazing." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, and that's the way with fads. Um, some are, you know, that's what you think, anyways. Is like, wow, you look amazing. That's why you wanna why you wanna wear them, right? That's kind of the idea. Is I wanna buy these because you know I saw usually like movie stars or f famous people wear s some kind of style, and then it becomes a style, a fad, and everybody wants to look like that person or something. Yeah, but it's funny because in one time you know you say you look great in the skinny jeans, and then when the other fad is uh, like bell bottoms, you look oh you look better in the bell bottoms. So. Adrian, are there any fashion fads happening in Uruguay right now that you've noticed? Um, right now? Uh, Usually it's I with younger know. people, but it depends. Yes, yeah? yes, uh, there, there, there are uh, uh, some fads. Um, I, I, I don't realize what exactly you don't, now. You don't but, pay attention, yeah. Uh, but I, I remember in the in the eighty years uh -huh. yeah. uh, 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 the sport shoes with a velcro. Ah uh huh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> yeah, you I like, like it. Those? Yeah yeah. <laughs> uh, like this? Yeah yeah yes. In, yeah. In the 80, uh, was a was a incredible uh, all shoes all sport shoes uh, um, had uh, uh, this kind of uh, this kind of uh, strap uh, we would say yeah strap yeah velcro, yeah. velcro strap that's what yeah. we call that and uh, other thing um, I remember uh, mm -hmm. is, um, uh, snowy jeans. Um, Shins. Shins? Uh, yeah, snowy is uh, 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 here in, in, in Uruguay. Mm -hmm. uh, 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 we, we, we say nevados. Oh, what? Oh, okay. Snowy. Yeah, yeah. Nevados. Um, They're kind of shoe or? No, no, uh, shins pant. Oh, to put on your your legs. Um, uh, shins. Yeah, uh, your shin, your shins. Yeah, but uh, the the oh. color. Yeah. I'm thinking maybe. Let me see if there are these. Um, 
We call these uh, leg warmers. Maybe you're talking about this. No, no, no. no. That uh, was a fad too <laughs> in the 80s. <laughs> Wearing, we call those leg warmers. Okay, I'm not sure what you're talking about. Do you have, you want to find a picture maybe for me? Yeah, I, I will uh, looking for, um, then I. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, find one picture and then uh, let me know. Uh, these are called leg warmers, and these were a fad in the 1980s. Uh, I don't know if anybody ever saw them in your country, though. I don't know, Legic, maybe in Poland because it's cold. Did you ever see these leg warmers? Mostly women would use these. No, no, Lisa, no. <laughs> Did you ever see her? Olivia yeah, Newton John. <laughs> when I was younger, really, when I saw when I was a teenager, I saw the girl, but only on a, on a movie, on a film, yeah. But okay. Not really, not really fun, yeah. yeah, yeah. People who did exercise videos and things like that uh, in the '80s, they were wearing these kind of things. Uh, you guys might be too young. <laughs> Maria, do you remember leg warmers? Yes, I, when I was a child, uh -huh. uh, we can see on TV the mm, movie, no, the TV show called uh, Fama, I think. Fame. Mm -hmm. Fame. Yes. Yeah. And where the people dance and mm. uh, <laughs> when I was very, <laughs> yes, I was very, very a child, I don't know, five or six years, my uh -huh. mom make a make a leg warmers for me because I like it very much <laughs> and I, uh, I yes exactly yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes <laughs> now yeah. it looks very very old <laughs> it looks very old yeah <laughs> yes <laughs> but here um, I don't know if all the people in Spain uh, like this series but for me mm. uh, I like it very much mm. to dance and yeah, I remember watching that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, especially uh, dancers would wear the leg warmers. That was kind of a style back yes. then. <laughs> so funny. It's funny to look back on them now and see, and they look so silly. Yes. <laughs> uh, oh, okay. Uh, let's see, Adrian. You found the the pants. There we are. Acid. We call those acid wash jeans. That's okay. the, the style there, acid wash. It's, it means the, the way it, it's uh, kind of not just one color, but uh, blue and white and light blue. Yeah. So you, did you wear those, Adrian? Yeah, yeah. Was, um, I, I, I wore, uh, wore uh, this kind of uh, pants. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, those were pretty popular. <laughs> Especially yeah. uh, like with uh, rock stars, like Bon jo uh, Bon Jovi and people like that, they would wear these kind of uh, jeans. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, how funny, Vitali? Did you ever wear these kind of jeans? Vitali, now I don't hear any noise, but I don't hear your voice either. <laughs> so the noise is gone. But I don't hear your voice. Hmm. Ahmed, where um where are you from, Ahmed? I'm uh, from Mauritania and living in Qatar. Oh, living in Qatar. Okay. What uh, yeah. what kind of trends do you see in terms of clothing in Qatar? Is any anything popular right now for yeah. men or women? <clears throat> yeah, the, the clothes here is very different. Uh, uh, from uh, the others, uh, others clothes for uh, uh, European countries or even in the uh, the West, all of the West. Oh West yeah. Country. What's it like? Uh, yeah, uh, they they describe they uh, wear uh, uh, something. Uh, I don't know. I I can't show you. Yeah, um, you can show me. Uh, but how I can make um, that. You, you can do a screen share if you want. Um, on the left, there's a uh, icon. You can click on that, or you can just give a link, and I can open it. Uh, okay, all of that I will do now. 
Okay. Well, I know that in Qatar the men wear the more uh, traditional. Ah, yeah, yeah, but I don't know uh, how I can describe that uh, in 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 the English language. In English, yeah, I don't know what those are called in English. Let's see, it's the traditional clothes. <laughs> we, we just call it traditional clothing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, it, the name here is the Shidasha, but I don't know uh, how I yeah. can uh, say uh, how I can say that in English. Yeah, probably even if you said the term for it, nobody would understand the term, so we would describe it in English. So we would say uh, the traditional clothing of Qatar, Qatari men, oh. which is which is basically like a long white shirt and uh, maybe pants, white pants underneath. It's yeah, all of uh, yeah, all of just to see country. Uh, uh, wear that, ki that kind of uh, dish dasha, uh, mm -hmm. and uh, it, it is usually uh, uh, like uh, short, but a long, uh, mm -hmm. a long, uh, a, a long term. Yeah, a very long, long shirt. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, but uh -huh. I don't know why not uh, now. Uh, uh, if I if I if I, uh, I I try to to to. We we'll see some uh, photo about it when 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 we uh, when I uh, uh, meet that I I will uh, show you. Yeah, well, um, here's one where Hamid was saying it's called it's called a gutra. But gutra is that for in in the in the in the in the head. Oh, okay. The gutra is the head part. That's a scarf. We would call that like a head head scarf. That you would wrap yeah, around. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> but that yeah. is no good. No good. <laughs> That's. But that wouldn't be yeah, considered yeah. a fad. That would be a tradition for a long time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, you know this this man who uh, in the in the bottom of uh, screen. Yeah. Uh, with with how with uh, this uh, uh, op opti optic optics. This guy? The, this guy, this guy? Uh, w uh, yeah, in the, yeah, this. Uh-huh. This is the, uh, this is uh, the dish dasha, the, which all person uh, here uh, wear. Yeah, oh. this person, this, this, this clothes, this yeah. This guy, oh, okay. It's kind of a nice uh, dress shirt. We would call that a, a dress shirt because it's kind of, um, it's a nice, it's not casual. It looks. It has because it yeah. has buttons and a collar. Yeah. Mm. It, it usually in the summer, mm -hmm. uh, it it is only with uh, white color because the uh, humidity here and sun is very high in, oh, yeah. in summer. Yeah. So hot. Uh, uh, yeah. And they uh, wear only with white color. But in the in this time uh, in the winter in the winter. Mm -hmm. uh, they uh, it has uh, uh, many different uh, colors. Mm -hmm. yeah. That for men, but uh, mm -hmm. for women they uh, they they uh, they wear uh, yeah this uh, like that. The traditional yeah. women, yeah. Yeah, hijab, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hijab and stuff. Yeah. Because, it, it, yeah. Go ahead. Well, interesting. Because in 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 GCC, yeah. Go ahead. Because in in GCC country. Yeah. Uh, they they uh, a little uh, uh, conser conser uh, conservative. Concern. Oh, uh, conservative. Yeah, sure. Uh huh. Conservative uh, uh, more than uh, other Arabic country. When you when you when you uh, went uh, when you went to to uh, Egypt or even Algeria and Morocco and those country. Mm. The, the 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 usual the usual uh, clothes clothes there there is uh, jeans and like that but mm. the only GCC country which yeah. called uh, which called Kuwait Algeria uh, Saudi Arabia and Bahrain and the Emirates and Oman those mm -hmm. six country mm -hmm. uh, which uh, which uh, very rich in in this area. Uh, usually, uh, uh, wears that kind of of, of uh, clothes. Right. Yeah. So I I would say um, that's really interesting because 
that's different than having a fad or a trend. So those countries are, are we should uh, we could say they're staying more traditional and like you said more conservative and in fact when I looked it up apparently they have signs around which tell you what's appropriate and what's not you know so for for Westerners especially who don't know about the culture maybe uh, they might be wearing things like on the left here we say that's improper dress <laughs> so mm. it, that's different than in the West where um, style and fashion is very um, important to people and so that it changes you know every couple of years and we have lots of fads and that's why we see like uh, all those different uh, things every year they're changing so we have different kind of tennis shoes that are popular different kinds of uh, you know boots become popular just in every different thing but in Qatar they're more uh, conservative and they're sticking to the the old style dress so yeah yeah yeah, okay. yeah it's different <laughs> So, uh, Hamid, do you do you know of any fads right now that are happening in in Turkey? Like you see, usually a fad also is something that you would see like on TV. A lot of commercials for TV um, for the product, or you might see people. You mentioned, I think Justin Bieber, like he sets trends sometimes. Like these are trendy, kind of in the United States now. Uh, they're winter boots, but people like to just wear them all the time. Not in the summer, but you know, mm. I don't know. Mm -hmm. uh, for me, uh, sometimes I can be, uh, there is a, a jean type. Uh, oh, huh? I describe it, it can be some part, uh, some parts of uh, cutting parts for that jean. Oh, okay. What do you call those? Um, yeah. I don't know in English. Uh, let me see. Like these kind? Yes. This kind of things. <laughs> I also so in Poland as well. Yeah. <laughs> these are. I think these are so silly, but yes, these are called uh, distressed, which means okay. some <laughs> things uh, can be very crazy for this. I mean, there, yeah. there are many uh, cutting parts. Uh huh. Uh huh. Holes. We call those holes. So lots of holes okay. in your jeans. <laughs> okay. uh, some guys uh, can be try uh, their jeans uh, converting to. Uh, short for themselves. I mean, they can cut. <laughs> yeah, cut them short. Yeah. Yes. Uh, Look at this lady. Some, yes. <laughs> it looks like a rodeo. <laughs> yeah. Some some things are just funny to me, at least. <laughs> They're some of these styles and fads are very funny. Yes, uh, funny and uh, silly. And silly, yeah. Yeah, and some people really are interested in fads, and other people they don't care. You know, they just buy the same clothes all the time and that kind of thing. And uh, people <laughs> like uh, to put their, uh, these pictures uh, to social uh, media uh, websites. On Facebook, yeah, for sure. <laughs> and uh, another uh, interesting uh, fad can be hairstyles, I think. Yeah, <laughs> hairstyles. So yeah. Yes, uh, sure. it is uh, also uh, huge. Uh, amazing, interesting, crazy, many different things. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, yeah. Yeah, and that's true for men and women. So, like in men, sometimes you see certain Let hairstyles. <laughs> for example, they become uh, Justin Bieber's uh, hair models. Yeah. Some guys uh, try to uh, have when they are in the hairdressers. Uh, hair mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. But uh, I am not like that. Uh, for that reason, I am like a nostalgic and old-fashioned uh, Turkish guy. I mean, I have some simple and uh, returning every time my cycle. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, I don't change myself uh, very well. Yeah, you but stay you stay the same. Yeah. Uh, but uh, for sometimes, of course, uh, for especially clothing style, I can try to uh, be uh, daily. Mm, yeah, but not exaggerating so much. Right. So some, yeah, Justin Bieber definitely has had some different styles, and when he changes his style, it becomes a fad. You can say. So then a lot of guys, especially this one, a lot of guys wanted to have their hair like in their face, kind of over long bang. We call these bangs right here, the part where it goes above your eyebrow. 
So that's kind of like a longer hairstyle, this one here, when he was younger. When, yeah. when we ask to young people, Are they can doing? say, they can say for themselves, these guys are uh, my idol, so I have to follow them, what they uh, do. Yes, yes, they follow. Good. Uh, was that you, uh, Sajjad? Yes. Hi. I, jo I just joined the class. Yeah, welcome. We're just talking about trends and fads, and we've been talking about different uh, clothing, and now we kind of moved into hairstyles. Uh, that's kind of the idea of fads, what people like for a short amount of time. And in the, in the West, especially the United States, I would say, it changes. People try to make fads happen because you can make a lot of money if you sell your <laughs> products or something. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I know. <laughs> so, Jad, where are you from? I'm from Pakistan. Oh, okay. Do you have any fads happening in Pakistan right now? <laughs> any kind of music because fads don't have to be just about fashion they can be about a product um, for example um, in the United States uh, many years ago they everybody wanted to have this doll for their for their child it's called the tickle me Elmo doll and you know around Christmas time everybody wanted to have this puppet you know this little doll here for their kid and so they would go to the shopping malls and try to buy them you know so that's also a fad like it's not popular anymore but for that amount of time it was really popular yeah. I still love it you still love it? <laughs> I still love it really, really. <laughs> yeah 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 I can, we have uh, one Elmo toy uh, it is almost uh, 40 centimeters it's a uh, tall yeah yeah, yeah. We have some books about Elmo. We have some uh, movies, short movies with Elmo. Yeah. Crazy. <laughs> but really useful. Yeah, really useful. Yeah, they like it a lot. That's that. Yeah. Everybody wanted another one. Uh, was uh, these these dolls when I was younger? Everybody wanted in the 1980s. These are called Cabbage Patch Kids. And everybody was running out to the stores to buy Cabbage Patch kids for their for their children, for their girls. Yeah. Crazy. <laughs> so, Mario, are there anything, any things that are, uh, any fads happening in Madrid? Sometimes um, a fad happens just in a city, too. Like, it, it, you know, in Spain, for example, it's happening in Madrid, but it's not happening in Barcelona or something like that. Or it's happening in Paris, but not in Germany. Right now, I think uh, we have the the same trends, uh, more or less in all Europe, mm -hmm. I, because I don't uh, I don't see um, as um, really a difference between mm -hmm. Spain or France. Uh, mm -hmm. I don't know if uh, I don't know what to say <laughs> because is I mm -hmm. think we don't have uh, nothing especially here. Mm. Because mm. everything that uh, we are seeing here in class, mm -hmm. uh, it happens here <laughs> in Spain. So <laughs> I think now uh, everything is global, and we have uh, more or less the same thing uh, yeah. in the United States, uh, in Spain. Uh, <laughs> yes, things uh, goes very fast all around yeah. the world. <laughs> yes, that's, that's true. That's true. Yeah, well, um, what, what I mentioned it before. Uh, fad diets. Are there any fad diets that are popular in Spain right now? Right now, uh, here they are going. They are starting to talk about a, a diet uh, that uh, is doing by the celebrities in USA, <laughs> <laughs> and I don't know if. It, it is true or if it is completely invented, but mm. they are talking about um, juices. Juice. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, juice, juicing. But, yeah. made, but made with vegetables. I don't know. It, sure. The, yeah. the um, color is very strange. <laughs> oh, so, like green, green juices, probably. Mm, oh, yes. Yeah. Those are popular. I don't, <laughs> I don't know uh, how it uh, tastes, but tastes. But it, uh, the color is uh, very, very strange. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So this yeah. is 
Yes, this is a trend now in diet. In, okay, that you've heard about. Yeah, the diet trends, every, every year there's a new one. And uh, they call them fad diets because they get really popular and a lot of people try them and then they kind of fade away. So these are some books that have been uh, promoting different types of diets that have become what we call fad diets. They haven't, uh, you know, they don't stick around forever. So, uh, yeah. What about you, Estibaliz? Do you notice anything in Spain? Oh, diets. <laughs> Well, related to diets or anything else that you've noticed, like, because fads you kind of start to notice, like, why is everybody wearing the same sunglasses or why is everybody, you know, going to the, the juice bar, you know, or something like that, you know? Um, I don't remember current things, but uh, I remember past things. <laughs> okay. For Tell example, uh, uh, the last summer or maybe the previous one, yeah. Uh, the glasses with green or blue crystal, I don't know how, it's oh, like for us. Yes, but the ones who, uh, which has a um, uh, green color or blue color, I, for Not example, like a brand of it, uh, may, it could be a uh, knock around or hawkers, I will <laughs> <laughs> make a link in the chat. <laughs> okay, I don't know what is the word for this. That yeah. the screen is not black. It's a, it's a glass that, but it's green or blue. With green. Okay, let me see. With the lenses like that. Sorry. Yes. No. But not not exactly like the blonde girl. Yes. Like her. This, type, this kind of glasses <laughs> has, has been very popular the last summer. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Spain. At least. Yes, it's true. Oh, yes. really? Oh, yeah, you noticed it too, Maria. Okay. Yeah, see, that's what I'm talking about, the fads. Yeah, all of a sudden you notice everybody's wearing these kind of glasses or something. Yeah. And, and if we think in past years, uh, the wayfarer uh, glasses were mm -hmm. um, also a fad. Uh -huh. Now, uh, I think that they are still here, <laughs> but... <laughs> But three years ago, for example, eh, all people were were in Wayfarer, <laughs> Wayfarer mm. the model Wayfarer of Ray Ban, on or that guy. Uh -huh, Ray Ban or something. Yeah, yeah. Certain. No, but the model, eh, the no, the Wayfarer, the classic one of Ray Ban. Right, right. Yeah, the classic. <laughs> yeah, those have been. Those those go out um, in and out of style a lot. The Ray Ban, uh, the Wayfarer yeah, ones. They are always. Uh, on trend, but um, in certain years, yeah, they are uh, <laughs> a plague, <laughs> a plague <laughs> in the citizen. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Legic, when when uh, are you noticing any fads in Poland, or are you too busy being a dad? <laughs> Legic. Maybe he's too busy being a dad right now. He had to go to his son. <laughs> uh, Adrian, in in Uruguay, do you who do you think sets the fads? Would it be like uh, popular like uh, singers, musicians, or polit? I'm like wondering about like your president because he's always kind of in the news. And is, does he ever like set a trend? Um, the, the the last part. Uh, can you repeat, Alicia? Yeah. So the the idea is who who sets the trend in yeah. uh, your country? Because in the United States it could be like Justin Bieber, or it could be uh, it could be some brand like a company, like uh, yeah, or it could be you know the newspapers, uh, Instagrammers, <laughs> yeah, nowadays. <laughs> so I don't know where where do people uh, find out what's cool and what's hip and what's the newest thing. Where would they go to find that out in Uruguay? Like a newspaper, yeah. TV shows? Yeah, the thing um, is um, the, um, the fads um, are uh, like um, the majority of war, or Western war, I don't know. Um, yeah. yeah, it's in the, um, for example, singers. Mm -hmm. 
or fashion mode or models. You know, yeah. Models. Fashion models. Yeah. Uh, yes, it's exactly the same. Uh, uh, the same that uh, the the, uh, the around others. the world. Yeah. 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 Around the world. Yeah. 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 We um, we have a word for that in English. It's called a uh, trend setters. So people who uh, we kind of look to to set trends to kind mm -hmm. of uh, start them. We call them trend setters. So um, usually for fashion, of course, it's kind of like uh, movie stars, models, actors, and they're featured in. Um, Mm -hmm. uh, magazines, for example. So yeah, like a lot of times, when you want to know what the the most you know latest fashion trend is, you would go to like Vogue magazine or something, and not just look at the fancy clothing, but look at like inside, what are the ads about, that kind of thing, um, and it, that's where you kind of find. So young people, and also uh, music videos nowadays. I would say more and more music videos, things like that. They find uh, the trends. Let's yeah. Are you, yeah, go ahead, Adrian. No, um, the 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 trend setters um, uh -huh. are um, and that um, they, they impose, impose, enforce the enforce. The, 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 yeah, the, impose the the fad or the, mm -hmm. the trend. Okay. Yeah, I would say they, they either reinforce it or they actually promote it. You could say promote. Promote. Okay. Yeah, promote yeah. trends. Um, I'm wondering, Maria, what about in Spain? Do the royal family, do they do people watch what they wear or what they do in terms of setting trends? <laughs> the royal family. Yeah. Does anybody well, care about I think it depends. <laughs> it depends <laughs> of the people. There are people uh, more traditional that um, see uh, a lot of um, uh, I, a lot of uh, um, I I don't know the the word. A lot of uh, TV programs and these kind of things, uh, yeah. where you can see the the way that the the queen wears and uh, the dress they they put the last night and. <laughs> but this, I think, this is more usually in all people. Oh. Uh, young people, I think, are more interested in. Uh, singers and bloggers, uh, Instagrammers, <laughs> these kind of things. Okay, now that yeah, yeah, yes, more than in royal family and these kind of things. Uh huh. Yeah, I was wondering about that. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but, uh, Vitaly, how's your microphone situation now? Is it better? Uh, I think uh, yes. A little noisy, <laughs> actually. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Maybe you need to write in the chat because I wanted to include you to help, you know, give you some chance to talk. But it's uh, really noisy, so yeah, I don't know. Um, so Hamid, did any, did your brother ever, um, or any of your friends ever get into certain kind of fads, trends? Because you you told us Hamid that you're more traditional. But what about your friends or your or your family members? Hamid, your microphone's muted. <laughs> okay, maybe he stepped away. Estivalis, out of your family, who's the most uh, person who who follows the fads and the trends? Would it be you or somebody else in your family? Me, me. <laughs> <laughs> I work in a fashion company, so oh, I yeah, have that's to. right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I have to do follow more or less trends. Uh -huh. and, and for example, uh, in our days, uh, bloggers and Instagrammers are <laughs> really the people who are working on it. Mm. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. What do you mean, like, just in general, just people who post photos on Instagram, or do you mean, like, uh, popular people, but, but famous uh, people? Uh, no. There, for one hand, we have uh, famous people with a lot of uh, followers and perfect. But mm -hmm. the other, the other hand, we have 
professional bloggers. Mm, bloggers okay. that, that are paid uh -huh. to upload an image with a brand or and, oh, you know, okay. and yeah. I can I can uh, can see I can uh, I don't you know, can uh, nah, that's you can see that there you can see I can see it in my work uh -huh, it's absolutely uh -huh. an Instagram world right now eh? oh yeah wow. it's very important uh -huh. we pay women right to wear. We we <laughs> we oh, give like we product give, placement. <laughs> we yeah. give the clothes and we pay for it, and oh we make gosh, contracts wow. uh, to you have to upload uh, upload five models uh, a month, for example. Ah, it's and like it's a job. absolutely uh, yeah. scary in the power they have. For example, uh, the face of our campaign is Cara, and mm -hmm. she has to post a video about the about the brand. Mm. And when she posted, we, we I think that uh, the company uh, we won uh, more followers in that day. Oh my gosh! Wow. <laughs> comparing to uh, the year before, for example. <laughs> so yeah. that's oh my gosh! Amazing. Wow, that's amazing. Yeah, yeah, that's that's really amazing. Wow. Yeah, I've heard about that too. Uh, and they do that in movies too. It's called product placement. So when you're having like a big movie that's going to be famous, you know, products will pay to be placed in the movie, which they hope will then, you know, sell more of those products and make it uh, popular. Um, the last thing I wanted to mention, just to give you guys some more uh, ideas and vocabulary and stuff, is not just fashion and hairstyle, but also things that people collect. We have fads about collections. So some people get really interested in collecting certain things like McDonald's toys, <laughs> uh, Star Wars figures, um, baseball cards. This is, you know, in the United States, I'm not sure um, in your countries, but magic cards, that's a kind of a game. So some people get really into collecting things as well. Beanie Babies have been really popular in the past. Um, like I mentioned, the Cabbage Patch Kids, uh, comic trading cards, and these are called pogs. So they're little buttons that you put on. Uh, Hamid, you're back. Yes. I, I was just wondering if there's anybody in your family who does like to follow uh, trends or fads and things like that, or is, is everybody pretty traditional? Mm, actually, uh, my uh, oldest uh, brother, when he was in... Uh, the United Kingdom in the England, mm -hmm. uh, he was following some things mm -hmm. because he was uh, far away uh, from us. So, uh, for example, I noticed uh, sometimes his hairstyle is uh, different. <laughs> his, uh, yeah. Uh, his uh, cloth, uh, his uh, uh, clothing style is different. But <sighs> now, if we are with our family, uh, we should uh, follow some rules. Of course, mm -hmm. our, my parents are open, but sometimes they can uh, say some comments uh, for us. Mm -hmm. So if I respect them, I should follow uh, their decisions. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Okay, good. One last thing is I just looked this up. Um, a new fad here in the United States is that some people are now buying up what we call vinyl records. It's a fad because, of course, now we have CDs and we have iTunes and downloading music and stuff. And so it's kind of a new fad to buy records again, which, of course, is an old old way of listening to music. <laughs> but it's a new fad. People are spending a lot of money trying to buy old, original vinyl records. So I don't know if that's happening yet anywhere else, but in the United States and in the United Kingdom, it's happening. <laughs> Uh, no. I have an advice uh, to everybody. Don't rubbish uh, to fr uh, don't rubbish everybody when yeah. uh, you have because it can be uh, very worse uh, in the future. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Yeah, hold on to your stuff. Don't throw it away because maybe it'll be worth a lot of money for in the future to somebody. <laughs> yes, uh, for example, uh, don't uh, uh, throw away your uh, using first mobile phone or your ah, uh, computers. Phone. Yes, yeah. computers. It can be very worth and we can sell to the museums. So uh, maybe in the future we can see some 
technological museums, so uh -huh. it can be a uh, very worth for our next generations. <laughs> to, uh, inheritance uh, some, something to them. Right. Yes, that's true. Okay, guys. Well, thanks for coming and talking about fads and trends. And uh, now you be on the lookout for what the new things are. <laughs> that was fun. Okay, guys. Take care. I'll okay, see you next time. Bye, 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 bye everybody. Bye.